oh my goodness welcome back happy freaking new year happy 2023 i wore the like purest of white tops and I just set my elbows on my desk and I know that's just not what I need to do. I'm so excited to be back here. I figured we could do like a get ready with me, answer some of your questions. I did like a poll or like a questions box on, box, box on Instagram and try to dive back into it. I know everything's mixed. I say this every time I come back from being gone, but everything's mixed about if people want to see beauty, if they don't, I'm just going to kind of post as much beauty as I can and just have fun with it. Like it, I'm going to do it when I can prioritize it, but I'm also prioritizing vlogs a little bit more than beauty. So if you haven't subscribed to my vlog channel, I'll leave that link down below. I have a lot of new makeup and I have no one to talk about it with except you guys. So we're going to do this together. December was a crazy, honestly, last year, the end of last year was just crazy. So busy between work we had travel, I think, every single weekend in December. And then just trying to navigate stuff during the week was just mayhem. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get back into it. I need to get my nails done, but we're not gonna worry too much about it, right? So, anywho, if you're interested, definitely keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And let's just go ahead and do our makeup and talk about the fun stuff. <music> actually went and worked out this morning and I worked out for like an hour. One of my new year's resolutions is to like prioritize time for me, which is like whether with work or working out, I think especially becoming a mom, there's a lot of times where like my brain's just so muffled. I don't know. I have so much I need to do. The one thing I have not prioritized is definitely like work and like doing things that I really want to get back into like YouTube and stuff. And that's what we're going to do, you know? I'm tired of not doing it. We'll say though, the month of November, December, I really didn't wear too much like new makeup. I wore literally the NARS light reflecting, <laughs> I wore the NARS light reflecting foundation, which is um, addicting. I absolutely love it. I dived back into that last month, uh, probably like a little bit in November, obsessed with it. It is one of the best foundations ever. And then I just been doing very minimal makeup. Like I haven't really been doing a lot, which I know is a lot of you guys too, but I still want to try some new things. So let's do it. I actually repurchased this and this is the Vanish Airbrush Primer from Hourglass. I love it. I have about this much left in my everyday makeup bag downstairs and I never go through primer like that. At least I haven't in a really long time because I've been trying so many different things. It's one of my favorite primers. It really is blurring. Actually, yeah, we're using a new foundation. I want to use a primer I know. I was going to use the um, blurring one from Huda. What does she call it? Oh, this one, the Blur Balm. But I'm going to try a different foundation for you guys today. So I want to use something I know that I like. Okay, I've had people asking about, <clears throat> will we start building on our land even if we move from this location? So if you don't know, it's about time for us to already, I know, like this is just the way it works. But it's about time for us to either stay here or move. It's not like necessarily uh, our decision. Like we could put in our input and then it's a whole process, but basically we put in our input and our preferences and then based on certain things, you either get to stay here if you want to stay here or you're going to go to a different post. You know what I mean? So it is about that time. Can you freaking believe it? Like that's just, that's why we move so much. It's just because that's the way the cookie crumbles. That's how it, how it works. But we bought land in Montana because at the end of the day, we want to live in Montana and we actually just came back um last week from being at Big Sky and we went and visited our land and it just confirmed that I'm so freaking excited to be there. I am having a very hard time with this. This year we're gonna start the whole process of like getting everything in order to build on that land. We're not necessarily in a rush and we're just kind of taking it day by day. We're not like ready to move by tomorrow. We really can't because Davis is still in the army. So we're just taking it day by day. And like the architect and stuff, like doing all the draw, draw ups and like figuring out what we want. That's all starting this year. So <sighs> why am I so bad? I went in store. This is medium neutral. Oi, I don't even think that's even remotely close. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to return that. Exchange it, what do you do it so far? I don't even know. Well, there goes that one. Luckily, I do have this Huda Beauty one. This one is an apple pie. I wanna try this again. I haven't tried it in a long time, but I just love Huda Beauty stuff. So I'm gonna try this again. This looks like a great color. But anyway, so we'll, we'll start that process this year. 
and you know I'll vlog it see where it can take us I will probably be the one coming in and out of like Montana when we start doing that because I have that flexibility but yeah, we will see this year there's a lot of like unknown right now <laughs> and like what's going on so we'll see you know we'll, we'll we'll keep you guys updated but it's just not a process that we're like rushing into building a house is a lot and I, I simply don't want to be stressed about it right now okay this is also the faux filter luminous matte did I mean to get luminous matte? Maybe I did. I don't remember which one I've tried before. Let's see, I remember this being very full coverage, so let's see what we can work here. I do have quite a bit of new stuff to share with you guys, so just bear with me. We're gonna kinda do it together. I need to wash my brushes really freaking bad, so just don't judge me on that. It has great coverage, but it definitely feels heavier. Like now that I've used the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation so much, I just don't normally gravitate towards super heavy foundations just because the NARS one is like full coverage, lightweight, like blurs your pores. Someone had messaged me because I, I posted me demoing it basically just because I was doing my makeup on Instagram and they're like, I don't know what I feel about it because the reviews are bad. I haven't even read the reviews to be honest with you, but I don't know. Everybody's skin is different. You have to always like think of that, but I don't know what bad thing could be said about that foundation to be honest with you. This one feels a bit heavy and a bit porous you know like it doesn't really blur out my pores very well so i wouldn't say this would be like a must-have also luminous matte i don't i don't know i don't know about that that doesn't seem the color is pretty dang good though i really did that with the color like you can kind of see over here how textured it is I don't know. Might just be a little bit too heavy for me. It's been so long since I've tried this that I was like, let me try it. It's definitely matte. I don't know where the luminous is. This is the Rem Sweet Concealer. It's the pot concealer. Normally I'm not a big fan of pot concealers, but I wanted to try it just to see. It has a little spatula that's just straight plastic. Um, that's what it looks like. This looks like a really good color. This is 6 in. Let's see if I can kind of just dot with my fingers maybe i don't know how to, have to do this I just pot concealers are normally very creamy and very heavy and i know i'm so late on the bandwagon for this one but listen i've been nervous to try it okay i'm gonna use my foundation brush because that's what i normally do i just usually press in my um concealer and what i've been using is the huda beauty faux filter concealer love it also love i've been using the nars long wear radiant concealer love that one too what else? There's another one. It's in my makeup bag. It's really good. This one actually doesn't look terrible. And it's blending pretty well. It doesn't look like it has a ton of coverage, though. I love me a full coverage. Look. It's just who I am. But this doesn't look bad at all. I've been dying to get my hands on the Rare Beauty stuff. Like the highlighter, the concealer. Or not the concealer, but the eye brightener. I need another concealer though from her because I haven't used mine in forever i had to like toss it because it was expired but now like i still haven't gotten it yet and i'm like where i need to go get it but rare beauty is like trending everywhere right now and it's so hard to get like your faves because they're pretty much sold out of like i feel everything I have this anastasia one that i really haven't used too much but all my like you everyday concealers are downstairs so that's why we're kind of working with what i have up here oh this is a question i get all the time which i feel like Wow, that's a lot of concealer. I get this question all the time, so I figured I would just, you know, say it here. I got a lot of concealer on. And that's um, how I take my photos and edit them, like on Instagram and stuff. And I just have, I don't know, what's the newest one that came out? Was it the 14? I have no idea. I think I have the 13. I don't have the newest one. But I changed my settings in there, and I usually either will use, like, a portrait mode. I always make sure my lenses are clean, too, if, especially if I'm taking, like, a really nice photo. There's just different tips and tricks. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos, actually, on um, different, like, iPhone settings for cameras. So I recommend doing that if you haven't already. But literally just the iPhone. Sometimes if I want to get real fancy, I'll take my nice camera, which I have that linked on my LTK. I'll try to leave it down below fancy smancy camera that gives really great photos which is what I normally use for like my kids um like I used it for Maddie's six month photos also her one year iPhone's just so easy to take with you but if I have the option I also love using that big DSLR camera that's just 
amazing and it's always just the iPhone camera iPhone camera and editing apps some of my favorite editing apps Lightroom is the must that I always have to have and then I use Tezza sometimes especially for videos I love to go into Tezza with videos and just like brighten them up make them look a little bit better because okay I have some she glam products I'm gonna use with you guys and I want to start with the contour so first of all the packaging of this is just gorgeous look at that stunning I have two colors here I have warm honey and earthy sepia I don't know which ones I would think warm honey's yeah warm honey's gonna be lighter I'm gonna contour with warm honey I'm telling you this packaging is like so pretty should have done this before I did concealer but I was just talking and that's what happens when you talk oh my gosh it's so cushiony oh it's so cushiony that's so nice I also got the tart one too the tart oh that was too much shape tape one what's it called it's like shape tape contour I don't know. I got that too, but it's downstairs and I really wanted to try this. So I'll keep you guys updated. But so far, well, that just blended really easily. Huh? Well, that was nice. This is just a real techniques brush, by the way, which I love me some real techniques, some amazing products. Also, let me know what you guys did for new year's and Christmas. Did you have a good holiday? I want to know. Did you guys have a great time? What's the 411? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Tell me all the hot gossip. Like everyone was just slammed. Everyone's always slammed this time of year though. Or like in the holidays because we're all just so busy like with life. <laughs> it's just difficult. But for my nose, I did a little much. So just pray for me here, please. Thank you. It kind of has like a really thin like watery consistency. I don't know if that's like the right way to describe it, but it blends really well now i have been loving like my dibs um desert island beauty these are the duos like the bronzer contours love those too but this is really nice it's definitely a different consistency those are like more creamy these are like water based i guess if you could say that i have a highlighter and a blush too i want to show you guys but i want to go in with um the darker one and just see what it looks like just to specifically contour as i almost forget to blend out my bottom lip y'all are gonna let me do that I've been editing this video. I've been like, what an idiot. What? Okay, this is super dark. So I'm just going to do one here, one here. Ooh, that sound though. I don't love that sound. I really like these. Like, that just blended so well. So I'm going to just line it out right here. I'm going to take this one and just blend it out. The other foundation is kind of just sitting right here so it doesn't look that good. But we'll just have to make it work. That's what happens when you leave all your favorite products downstairs, you know. But I really like these. Like, those are perfect. Let's take the blush. This is Devoted. This looks really pretty. So this is like a lighter pink package. This one's like a gray or taupe. Doesn't that look so pretty? I love the feeling of the sponge. Like, it's... When I first saw it, I thought it'd be more stiff. But it's very cushiony and just nice to apply Yes, like that is, this color in Devoted is the color for me. It's the color for me. I'm just going to do a little bit more, like right there, just a little bit more, you know. When we set with powder, everything will really mesh together too, so don't worry. Foundation, concealer combo, not my favorite, but I really like the bronzer, blush, and now we're going to try the highlight. So I have two different highlights. They look really pretty. This one's the lightest one, I believe, and it's Vanilla Frost. I love a light highlight this might be too much for me and then this next one looks stunning this one's in tea cake that's cute what if i just mix them i don't know tea cake looks really pretty and this is a different applicator so it's more of like a doe foot not the sponge so i think i'm gonna go with tea cake first I could always go lighter if i ever wanted to so i'm gonna do a little bit of that Okay, that's pretty. Definitely like a glowy sheen. It's pretty. Let's see Vanilla Frost though. Let's do this one. That was a little much on that side, so let's see what I look like on this side. It gives a really pretty sheen to the skin. I definitely feel like my, the blush and bronzer are my favorite. All right, we've basically got everything on our face. <clears throat> now, so I've tried this loose powder. This is the Close Up Baking and Setting Powder. This is really nice. I think I got it from... Ulta, but I recently got these in, and these are Jaclyn Cosmetics 
Face It All Brightening Pressed Powder. And I should have kept the effing thing to like show where to place this, but I forgot. So this is in Face It All Correcting Medium. This one's in Baking Light. This could probably go underneath my eyes. This one is Correcting Light. So wait, Brightening Light, Correcting Light. Brightening Light was the first one I just showed you. This one's Correcting Yellow. My new favorite products of 2022. This Beauty Blender Power Pocket Puff. I take this with me everywhere. I probably shouldn't. So I'll keep the packaging of it and toss my little sponge in there or sometimes I just throw it in my bag. Like if I'm if I'm without this package, I will put it in my bag. I just love it. I love it so much more than like a brush to just put powder on my face. It is so good. I do want to try the Amazon ones though that everybody really loves, but whoo -hoo, the feeling of this is so nice. It's giving the Tati Beauty Blendiful. That's what it's giving, and I loved the Blendiful. I feel like I want to try one on one side, one on the other, see what I love more, but I'm just, I'm hoping it's kind of poreless, you know? So this one is going to be Brightening Light. Wow. That is a powder with coverage. I can't remember if she sent me a translucent one. I put a bunch in a, ba a box to like give away because I give away a lot of stuff. Like I don't want to keep 500 colors. You know what I mean? That's with any brand. This is looking good. Look at how much better this side looks than this side. And that's with like a really thick concealer on. It has really great coverage though. Like I'm talking coverage, but it's really smoothing bet you this one would be fire under the eyes. I think I'm just gonna try it. Call it a day. I went ahead and just set my whole face with this side, but you only need a little bit. And banana powders, remember those are all the rage for like 500 years? Really, everyone loved them. Do I look brighter on this side? I would say a little bit, but I think I like the light better. Thoughts review on Army Wives. I'm gonna take it she's talking about the show, which I don't know if you can even find it anymore. You guys remember that? I loved that show. I thought it was so cute. I, was, I still would totally watch it again. I don't know where you can watch it, but I would definitely watch it again just because it's fun to watch. I don't relate to anything, I don't think, in that show. Nothing stands out, but it's been so long since I've watched it, and now that I've been with Davis doing military stuff like for years, I would have to re-watch it to see, but like at the time, nothing was like really relatable. I liked it. I don't know. I know some people didn't love it, but... It's a TV show. Just like some people don't like Yellowstone and glamorizing all of that. You know what I mean? There's going to be people who don't like it, but I thought it was cute. It's a TV show. You take it for what it is. I'm in this. Oh, this is one of my favorites. I think I showed you guys in the Sephora haul. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Tiger. Please don't judge my um, desk. But love it. Love it. I used it for so long. I was taking it with me on travels and then I kind of took a break from it because I was like, I have to use other stuff. Now I'm using it again. It's so good. I'm using this color right now to just add more color to the face. And I'm still really loving this Star Starla. This blush is really good too. Um, it's just like a, it's going to be a, a really popular, I feel like, summer blush because it's a bronzy, pinky tone and it's just beautiful. I love it. I did buy this in that Sephora haul forever ago. It was like the semi-annual sale. I don't love it. I don't love it. Let me try to go into this pink right here though. Let's see if I can add a little pink. I don't know. I used it a couple times and it just wasn't my favorite. That pink is really pretty though. Maybe I should shut up. Yeah, I don't know. I, if I like one color out of the four, it's not really my favorite, but I don't know. Something like the highlight's just not there. It's very sheer. It's an expensive palette. So I would say pass on this, get this. And they have different shade varieties in this and the packaging is super cute. Hourglass is just one of my favorites at the moment, I don't know. I really enjoy their products. And for the longest time, I didn't really find things that I loved, but I guess just because my makeup taste has kind of changed, like that's why I feel like back in the day, maybe I didn't think this foundation was so heavy, but now I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so heavy, you know? Things change, so. I'm just evolving. I'm just randomly picking ones. Um, how do you juggle, juggle having a career, wife, mom, etc.? I am barely making it with one kid. Um, I have help. I have a nanny. Um, Mason also goes to school during the day. I, and I still don't have it together. <laughs> I don't know, really. What am I opening here? So pretty. 
Ooh. Are we going there today? Are we doing a smoky eye? We might. Okay. So it's, I don't think anyone really has it together. And people who do say like they have it completely together, they probably have a lot more help, you know? Like it's, everybody's on the struggle bus together. I promise you, even my friends and I like all talk about like where we are, like what's going on and like if we're struggling or something. And you know, everybody's going through something. You don't really ever see it. Uh, I don't feel like people showcase it. Everyone's going through something. It's motherhood is hard. Juggling everything is hard. And it's just not easy. People who make it look easy probably are struggling on behind the camera, you know what I mean? And they don't really want to show. So just know you're not alone. It's hard. And if you have the ability to try to ask for help, you know, I was watching Patricia Bright's video. I forget which one it was. I think it was about like recession or something. And um, she was talking about how, you know, if you need help doing something, like say you need to work or whatever, but you can't afford a, wow, that was a big fuzz in my eye, but you can't afford childcare. What if you and another mom kind of went back and forth and just, you know, if there's another mom out there who needs help, you watch her kids for a little bit, then she watch yours. And it's kind of like a, a balancing of you two bouncing each other out and maybe not having to charge anything to each other. It's just, you know, help. Does that make sense? I don't know. I thought it was a really great idea. I heard it and I was like, wow, that's actually a very smart way to go about it. Like if you don't have the means to pay for childcare because childcare is a mortgage payment. So, I mean, I get it. I thought that was a really cool way to think about it and like go about it. So maybe try that. If you have a girlfriend or something and you both have things to do, like what if you went to her house for the day, she got stuff done or, you know, flip flopped. That could be a great way to do that, but not everybody has it together. Also, another thing that I have to, I have to constantly remind myself this because like, you hear it all the time, but like it seriously is something that I think about and that's that the days are long and the years are short. It, the time's going to fly and then before you know it, you're going to have all this time in the world to get stuff done and you're just going to be like, what was I so worried about? You know what I mean? Days are long, years are short and that is the truest statement ever. Oh, also, you know what's funny is I was listening to my workout twerk out playlist that you guys know I've probably had for forever now and... <laughs> One of the songs, Big Sean, was like, I forget the name of the song. I have to think of it now. He was saying basically like, oh, F of AK, I feel better at work. And I remember like hearing that phrase back in the day. This is so off topic, but I remember hearing that phrase back in the day and being like, ooh, that's right. I would much rather be working and doing all these things. And, and I listened to that today and I was like, no, absolutely not. I would much rather be on vacation than at work. I love working and I love having things to do, but like there comes a time where like work is not everything. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's funny. I just thought of it differently today. I was like, uh, pfft, Big Sean, do you still feel like that? Or are we trying to all take vacations? I'm just dabbling into this palette. This is the Stargaze eyeshadow palette from NARS. They send me stuff in PR and... I just haven't had time to really play with things, but I'm kind of doing what I know. You know what I mean? I'm really kind of easy smoky eye. I'm not being precise with this. I'm just trying to really kind of see how easy the colors are to work with. I'm going to go in with this Benefit Extreme Precision Eyeliner. I'm going to get on Instagram today and people are going to be like, what? Your makeup is done? Let's see another question I can answer. Oh, and another thing is people are asking about baby number three. Um... It's not looking like we're having one anytime soon. I'm trying to declutter our baby stuff. <laughs> not me trying to talk about a serious topic and also do a wing at the same time. Never say never. Uh, are we trying right now? No. But never say never. You never know. But Maddie did just turn one in November. And we're getting in a, a slowly, a slow routine. Let's do lashes. I'm going to do lashes and brows off camera. And I'll be right back because I've been here forever. <laughs> Forget how much I love a smoky eye until I do it. And then I'm like, I gotta come back tomorrow and do it again. <laughs> so I just smoked out my lower lash line with the same colors I used for the top. Okay, so we're gonna just go with it. We're gonna do, I think we'll do a little bit of Jaclyn. I wear Jaclyn's lip products all the time. These um, liquid lipsticks, they're so good. And then I love Makeup Forevers and Makeup Revolution. I love all of these. Huda Beauty has some great ones too. I'll take whatever I get. Actually, I only use Makeup Forever. Makeup Forever lip liners are some of my favorites too. This one's in the shade 
604 up and down tan. Kind of just filling and lining at the same time. These are really creamy and nice. If you haven't tried them yet, they're so freaking good. It's the um, Artist Color Pencils. We're going to take a lighter color on top. This is Jacqueline's Confidence, her liquid lip. And then I want to do a little bit of the Smashbox. This one's in Fair Game. This is like a really great in the center of the lip, liquid lip, because it's really light. Like that. See? Just add a little bit more dimension to it. Those three, that's a good lip combo. But... I think I want a gloss. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go with this Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This is the shade 002 Ice. Hey guys, that is it for today's video. Naturally, I came back with a smoky eye. There's really no other way for me to be here. Maybe I'll do like a favorites video for you guys and you know, whatever else you would wanna see. But um, I like the way this look turned out. First, like the foundation concealer weren't that big of a hit, which kind of sucks because that's your base. But I'll come back and give you guys like a full favorites video and share with you what I've been loving and what looks incredible on the skin. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.